Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the class of 2012 at Houston Baptist University, we welcome you to this spring commencement ceremony. Please remain standing for the reading of scripture by Elizabeth Bottom and for the invocation to be led by Trenton Bell. Following the invocation, please remain standing for the singing of our hymn, Lead On, O King Eternal. You'll find the words to that hymn on the back of your program. Elizabeth. This morning I will be reading Acts 1, 1 through 11. The first account I composed, Theophilus, about all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up to heaven after he had, by the Holy Spirit, given orders to the apostles whom he had chosen. To these he also presented himself alive after his suffering by many convincing proofs, appearing to them over a period of 40 days and speaking of the things concerning the kingdom of God. Gathering them together, he commanded them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait for what the Father had promised, which, he said, you heard of me, for John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when he had come together, they were asking him, saying, Lord, is it at this time you are restoring the kingdom of Israel? He said to them, it is not for you to know the time or the epochs which the Father has fixed by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses, both in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria, and even to the remotest parts of the earth. And after he had said these things, he was lifted up while they were looking on, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And as they were gazing intently into the sky while he was going, Behold, two men in white clothing stood beside him. They also said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in just the same way as you have watched him go into heaven. Good morning, everybody. This is a great day to celebrate, but before we begin, let us go to the throne of grace in prayer. Father, we are so grateful for this day, for this is a day that you have made. So we rejoice and we are glad in it, Father. We thank you so much for your presence, oh God, for your staying power, for being with us during our tenure here at HBU, Father. We know that this would not have been possible without you and without the support and the love and the prayers of those that uh, are close to us and dear to us. Father, we acknowledge your presence in this room and we thank you and we invite you in to have your way through every song that's sung today, Father, through every prayer that's rendered, Father, through every word that's spoken, Father. May we be reminded of you and your faithfulness to us, O oh God. We love you, we glorify you, and we magnify you. It's in Jesus' name that we pray and with much gratitude we all say amen. amen.
It is indeed my pleasure to welcome you to these commencement ceremonies honoring the class of 2012. And we're delighted to have you as our guest this morning in the beautiful Dunham Theater, which is part of the Joella and Stuart Morris Cultural Arts Center. This morning's graduates represent those who have completed coursework since our last graduation ceremonies back in December. At this moment, I, I need to share uh, something of a, of a sad note with the rest of you. Uh, some of you may have heard, but Dr. Sloan, Dr. Robert Sloan, the president of our university, is not able to be with us this morning. Uh, he and his family lost a grandson this week. He was born on Wednesday and, uh, and died in the arms of his family, and, and so Dr. Sloan and, and his wife Sue are, are with them right now. And our prayers go out to their family. It's a, it's a, really, it's a time of grief for the entire HBU family as we mourn with them. But I know Dr. Sloan well, and I know that he would also want us to note that this is also a day of celebration. And so while we grieve, we can also celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates today. And so that's where we want to turn our attention now. And it, and it is a, a pleasure and a joy for, you, for all of you to be among us today, the families who are celebrating this graduation of their loved ones. It's a tradition for us, in fact, to recognize family members of graduates who've helped make this morning possible by all your sacrifices, not just financial, of course, but all the prayers, the moral support, the encouragement that you've given uh, your sons and daughters here. So if you're a family member of one of this morning's graduates, would you please stand up and allow us to recognize you? Turns out that was most of the audience. <laughs> Our university is guided by a board of trustees, which is charged with the legal responsibility for the university. And they're a blessing to us all in the way that they serve students by offering godly counsel and good leadership. We are honored to have several members of the university trustees among us this morning. And I'll ask them to please stand as we call their name now and remain standing. And I would ask you all to please hold your applause until all have been introduced. First, we have Mr. David R. Brooks, the chair of the trustees. Mr. Uh, sorry, Dr. Mark Dennison, vice chair. We also have with us uh, Mr. Ray Cox, Jr. Reverend Josh Gohardo. Mr. David Stutz. Reverend Larry Womack, and in the auditorium, Dr. Stuart Moore, Sr. Can we give them all a round of applause? Thank you. Thank you. Our special music this morning will be brought to us by a graduating senior, Sujin Cho Baker from HBU's School of Music. And I'll ask Sujin to come on up.
Thank you, Sujim. Now, would you join me in welcoming Mr. David Brooks, chair of the Houston Baptist University's Board of Trustees, as he comes to bring his charge to the graduates. Mr. Brooks. Thank you. Welcome to everyone again. Uh, congratulations to the graduates who sit before us this morning, who've worked tirelessly with the support of your family and friends uh, to achieve this day and what a great accomplishment it is. So uh, from the Houston Baptist University Board of Trustees, I bring uh, greetings as well as congratulations. I've been asked to share a brief, emphasis on brief, uh, message with you today, a challenge charged to the graduates today. I was sitting at home last night with my uh, two university-aged sons, uh, my wife celebrating her birthday. Uh, she went to high school with uh, Dr. Dennison on the stage. He reminded me that she's only 30, which I don't know how old that makes Dennison. But um, my sons inquired about what I was going to be doing today. I said, well, I'm going to Houston in the morning. Uh, I'll be standing in for Dr. Sloan at two graduations. And they said, Dad, are you speaking? And I said, yes. And they said, keep it short. <laughs> They're not going to listen for long. So I'm going to attempt to do that this morning. Uh, challenge you, if you would, to think with me about uh, the Lord's Prayer. Jesus' disciples and those around him said, you know, Jesus, how are, we to, how are we to talk to God? How are we to pray? And, and so Jesus laid out one of the most uh, famous passages in the Bible, the Lord's Prayer. And in that, I, ch I uh, ask you to go with me to one line in that, which is, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I invite you to further drill down with me to two words in that line. Thy kingdom, kingdom, come to earth. So, you know, so many times when we focus on Christ's message and his example when he lived among us on earth, we focus on, on eternal life and that connection to eternal life. And that's important and it's true. But really, Jesus came, if you study his life, he came to model what our life should look like. And it's a life of service to others. It's a life of bringing the kingdom to earth. So with that in mind, uh, there are so many great uh, books out there today. Uh, one that I particularly like is called One Life or One Dot Life uh, by Scott McKnight. One Life, uh, in One Life, McKnight hypothesizes that our church, church broadly today, is missing your generation in a lot of ways because your generation is doing a much better job of saying, tell me what the relevance of all this is. I'm tired of smoking mirrors. I don't want any of that. Tell me what it means in my life. And McKnight argues that we have to do a better job of talking to all peoples, but particularly the younger generation, about what is the significance? What is the call? How is it relevant in today's world? He talks in his book about a South African word. It comes from a South African phrase. The word is Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Ubuntu means a person is a person. A person is a person through other persons. You can't live this life alone. It's not a journey. It's not a solo journey. It's a journey about people living through other people. Ubuntu, McKnight goes on to say, Ubuntu teaches us that, that life society works only when humans live out their connectedness. And that kind of connectedness with God and others and with our past and our future is what Jesus means when he says kingdom. McKnight goes on to say, what does Ubuntu have to do with Jesus? When Jesus said kingdom, he envisioned a society characterized by Ubuntu, and envisioned God's people living before God and others in a way that embodied the will of God in a new kind of society. So he came to lay out a new kind of society, right? And, but he wasn't talking about only eternal life. He was talking about our world today where people are dying of poverty, where people are suffering because they can't, don't have water or power or anything. That the call, Our call is to change that today in our life, in our world. And he goes on to say, well, what, what would that look like? What would... A society in our world today look like if we really took that call seriously and he says look a kingdom 
Jesus' kingdom that he talks about, God's kingdom on earth, looks like this. Kingdom is an interconnected society. It's a society noted by caring for others, a society shaped by justice, empowered by love, dwelling in peace, flowing with wisdom. It's a kingdom that's a society that knows its history, that lives out its memory, that values society, society valuing society, people valuing people. Kingdom is a society that cares about its future. In this book, when he speaks of Ubuntu, he speaks of our call to give ourselves away, to give our lives away. And as you sit there today, you know, rarely are there many times in my experience in life where, ref, where an event in our life calls for reflection. There are marriages and there are weddings and, and there are births and there are deaths and there are graduations. And so as you reflect on what's this all about? Why am I here today? I mean, yes, I'm getting a piece of paper and I've accomplished something. I'm on to graduate school or I'm on to work. I'm on to whatever. I challenge you today to think in terms of what would a life well lived look like? And in that reflection and deliberation, I hope you'll consider the possibility of Ubuntu, of people living for other people. And in that, uh, I ask that God may bless you in all your future endeavors. Thank you, Mr. Brooks. The academic year 2011-2012 marks the university's 49th year of operation and its 46th year to award degrees. We will honor 241 graduates from the spring semester in today's ceremonies. This brings the number of students who have received degrees from Houston Baptist University since our first commencement back in 1967 to a total of 16,959 graduates. We'll be assisted in the awarding of the degrees this morning by Mr. David Brooks, Chair of the Board of Trustees, Deans and Faculty of our Colleges and Schools, Dr. Matt Bolston, Dr. Russ Hamadi, President of HBU's Faculty Assembly, and Ms. Erin Hughes, our registrar. We'll begin by recognizing our graduate degree candidates first, followed by our undergraduate degree candidates. All of the candidates for the various degrees who have completed degree requirements since our last commencement are listed in your program, although not all are necessarily able to be with us this morning. It is permissible and in fact quite customary at these sorts of ceremonies for you to applaud each candidate as the degrees, uh, for the degree as their names are called. So Mr. Brooks, would you please come join me at the podium? Will all the candidates for the master's degree please stand? Mr. Brooks, these students have completed all requirements for the master's degree from Houston Baptist University. The faculty and I recommend that you confer the master's degree upon them. As recommended by the faculty and authorized by the Board of Trustees and on behalf of President Sloan, I confer upon you the master's degree with all of the rights and privileges thereunto appertaining, please come forward and receive your degrees. It is my pleasure to present the graduates. Dr. Stacy and the deans and faculty will perform the hooding. The graduates will then receive congratulations from Mr. Brooks and their degrees from the President of the Faculty Assembly. Dr. Mohan Karuvala, Dean of the School of Business, will assist with the presentation of the candidates for the Master of Accountancy degree and the Master of Business Administration degree. The candidate receiving the Master of Accountancy degree will also receive the Bachelor of Business Administration degree. Receiving both the Master of Accountancy and Bachelor of Business Administration degrees, Bo August Warren. <laughs> Receiving the Master of Business Administration degree, Sarah Lynn Andrews. Graham Andrew Bird.
Maria Alyssa Elvado Blado, Dr. Gardo Blado, Professor of Physics, will assist with the hooding of his wife, Maria. Aaron Neil Garrison. Ryan Gilbert Honeycutt. Nasha Marie Mays. Chad Foster Silva. Tamara Camille Wyatt. Let's give all the master's degree recipients a round of applause. Mr. Brooks, would you come join me once again? Yes, I will. Will all the candidates for the bachelor's degree please stand? <laughs> Mr. Brooks, these students have completed all requirements for the bachelor's degree from Houston Baptist University. The faculty and I recommend that you confer the appropriate degree upon them. As recommended, by the faculty and authorized by the Board of Trustees and on behalf of President Sloan, I confer upon you the degree you have earned with all the rights and privileges thereunto appertaining. Please come forward and receive your degree. As the graduates make their way, I point out to you the, the hoods that they will receive are distinctive to Houston Baptist University by the orange and blue satin with which they are lined and by the color of the velvet trim, which indicates the academic discipline being recognized. The inside back page of your program explains the tradition of academic apparel. If you notice the academic gowns and hoods of the faculty, you will see a variety of colors of their doctoral granting institutions represented in the silk of the hood. And the mace on stage here also is a symbol of the uh, an ancient symbol, in fact, uh, that represents authority of the university to teach and to award degrees. So also the seal that the president wears. Both of these remind us that education is not simply a commodity to buy and sell. It is also a sacred trust we all engage in to serve God and others. Dr. Mohan Karuvala, Dean of the School of Business, will assist in the presentation of the candidates for the Bachelor of Business Administration degree. Receiving the Bachelor of Business Administration degree, Aina Mabasi. <laughs> Tulupe Israel Adedapi. Jesse Danielle Angino, magnum cum laude. Danielle Ombres, cum laude. Ian Kelly Armstrong, summa cum laude. Reagan Christian Barker, summa cum laude. Trenton Dion Bell, magna cum laude.
Elizabeth Ann Bottom, cum laude. Robert S. Buller, magna cum laude. Kenya Lissette Cadiz. Alejandro Camacho. David Brian Capes, Jr. Dr. David Capes, Professor of Christianity, will assist in the hooding of his son, Brian. Christopher Cody Dyer, magna cum laude. Elisa Rebecca Emling, cum laude. Isaac Daniel Elsner, magna cum laude. Disa Janen Foster, magna cum laude. Rashika Fotidar. Jonathan Mark Hammond. Hayden Keith Hernandez. Brandon E. Jennings. Laurie Elizabeth Lahosky, summa cum laude. Nilza Jandra Debrito Manuel. Curtis Shane Richard Michaud. <laughs> Celeste Moreno, summa cum laude. Hadassah Nanetti, magna cum laude. Not win, summa cum laude. Earth S. Patel, cum laude. Claudia Karina Alvaregna Ramirez. Ashley Reed. Andrew Patrick Rollins. Nadia Ann Samori. Lindsay K. Shiflet, magna cum laude. No. 
Barbara Estelita Lynn Silva, magna cum laude. Jonathan Emmanuel Staples. Christopher John Steeb. Justin Michael Wall, magna cum laude. Dr. Doris Warren, Dean of the College of Science and Mathematics, will assist in the presentation of the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree. Receiving the Bachelor of Science degree, Nicholas Alonzo. <laughs> Louisa Maria Alzate, cum laude. Jonathan Andrew Amadio. Anam <laughs> Shiraz Bana, cum laude. <laughs> Geraldine Bravo. Roshana Shales Cavalier. <laughs> Alberto Sinaceros. <laughs> Elizabeth Sarah Deo. Knock my dough. <laughs> Nia Alexandria Epperson. <laughs> Elizabeth Lee Evans, magna cum laude. Christopher M. Flores, magna cum laude. Sharon Christopher Fronsica, summa cum laude. Marie Therese Fouad, summa cum laude. Nancy Garcia. Elizabeth George, cum laude. Jolie Ray Graff, cum laude. Lakeisha Renee Green. Arvis Simone Greenleaf.
Parisha Gudapati. Nita Azez Hassan, cum laude. Keely Hodgins. Princess A. Igwe. Asayoe Iman C. Jacob. <laughs> Julie John, cum laude. Olivia Rose Johnson, cum laude. <laughs> Mohammed Awesome Khan, cum laude. <laughs> Mohammed Irfan Khan, magna cum laude. Patrick Jordan Lau, magna cum laude. <laughs> Franklin I. Leal. <laughs> Sergio Leal. Mele K. Leoseo. <laughs> Brittany D.C. Little. Vin Kwok Lu, cum laude. <laughs> Camillo A. Marin. <laughs> Sai Pratik Midi, cum laude. Asma Humayun Mirza, cum laude. <laughs> Molly Catherine Milchek, magna cum laude. <laughs> Randy Wynn. Joshua Stephen Pantoa. <laughs> Shivani P. Patel, summa cum laude. <laughs> Sophia Perez Renteria, summa cum laude. Trey A. Rodriguez. <laughs> Andrew
Angela Maria Rojas. Shruti Sakuja, summa cum laude. <laughs> Yudi Santabanez. Aruz Shadri Shaheed, magna cum laude. <laughs> Kelly Elizabeth Sims, magna cum laude. <laughs> Catherine Ann Sloan, summa cum laude. Allison Nichelle Steinecker. <laughs> Kenneth Martin Torres, summa cum laude. <laughs> Luisa Fernanda Vallejo. Allison Lee Viola, cum laude. <laughs> Rachel Caitlin Wells, Dr. Mark Dennison, Vice Chair of Houston Baptist University's Board of Trustees and Rachel's pastor, will assist with Rachel's hooding. Heather Kathleen Wilburn, Honors in Biology and Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> William Michael Winters, Jr. <laughs> Cindy Lashen Wright. Dr. Margie Ugaldi, Dean of the School of Nursing and Allied Health, will assist in the presentation of the candidates for the Bachelor of Nursing degree. Receiving the Bachelor of Nursing degree, Megan Page Coburn, magna cum laude. Evelyn Ide Dubaton, magna cum laude. Christine Garcia. Hannah Elizabeth Harris, cum laude. Ulawatoyan SAMA. <laughs> Lisette Alexis Nance. Christine Paquin, cum laude.
Christina Michelle Patrick, cum laude. Jessica Marie Pyle. Kate Allison Riddle, summa cum laude. Laura B. Siausen, cum laude. Shane Smith, magna cum laude. Liju Zhang. Let's give all of our graduates a round of applause, shall we? Finally, there is one additional group of individuals whom we wish to recognize on behalf of our graduating class. These are the, my colleagues, in fact, who, comp who comprise the staff and the faculty of the university. Could I ask the university staff and faculty to please stand and be recognized? I would like to also thank those who are responsible for the planning and execution of these ceremonies. Of course, Dr. Sloan and uh, Mr. Brooks, who was able to stand in today, we're very thankful. Ms. Erin Hughes, the Registrar's Office staff, Dr. Rhonda Furr, Dr. Matt Bolston, Dr. Russ Hamadi, Sharon Saunders, Candace DeRosiers, Linda Clark, Paulette Cole, the HBU Police Force, and of course, many others. On behalf of the graduates, graduates I should also like to thank each of you for your presence here today helping make this a very special ceremony, very happy occasion for all of us. We'll conclude today with a benediction given by Jolie Graff and the singing of the alma mater. The words to that alma mater may be found in the back of your program. Following the alma mater, please remain standing until the graduates and the faculty have cleared the immediate area. Would you all please stand? Jolie, come on up. Please bow your heads with me. Heavenly Father, we come to you with thankful hearts. Thank you for bringing us here at, to this moment that we have worked so hard for. Thank you for the many blessings that you have bestowed upon each one of us, Father, here at Houston Baptist University. But we know that it was all for your glory. You have given me so much during these four years, teammates, friendships, and even a fiance. The relationships that you have placed in my life while I've been here at HBU have brought so much joy to my heart and I am forever grateful. But most importantly, I thank you for the opportunity here at HBU to grow closer to you, to praise you freely, and to continuously build the most important relationship with your son, Jesus Christ. I know that you have been right there beside me, guiding my steps throughout my time here, and I pray that you continue to guide me and each one of my fellow classmates as we start a new chapter in our lives. I ask that you would give us strength to glorify you in everything that we do, whether we are a teacher, church leader, accountant, or coach. I pray that our lives would point directly to you, Father. Direct our steps and help us to live for you and you alone. We love you, Father, and we thank you again for this wonderful celebration and the gift of your precious Son, Jesus Christ. And it is his holy Son we pray. Amen. In the great state of Texas, Houston, USA, 
Christ and our noble alma mater, Christ saying, I am the way. In our search for knowledge, tempered with thy love, seeking our place of service with wisdom from above. Give us courage, strength, and faith to face a world filled with fear. Ever onward to the challenge, knowing thou art near. God bless our school, keep her safe and true. God bless our alma mater, Hail the orange and blue. Woo, 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 woo.